Hello everybody, I'm going to show you here our 5 uh, minute high availability PBX. Uh, what I've got here, I've got two virtual machines here. We've got this one here, the 1019201, -E and next to it I've got the 1019202, -E each with only one network interface. I have an SSH uh, putty session into the 1019201, -E that's where we're going to be running the update from. Here I've got a window here showing our PBXs. Uh, if you want to look at this uh, here, this is my one PBX. And if I go in here to extensions, you're going to see under 1019201, I've got these extensions 100 to 105. If I go into this one here, let's, let's make sure we're uh, in here and we look at our extensions in here, you'll see there's no extensions under this 202 and this 210 is not responding. That's our virtual IP that we'll land up using in the future to register our phones and everything too. Um, and do our maintenance of uh, our uh, PBX. So let's go back over here to 201 so we can see it. Uh, actually, we'll leave this 210 screen up. That comes interesting. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run the scripts that I copied out of my uh, uh, PB PBX in a flash form. Let's uh, start our timer and see if this really is a five minute high availability PBX. So we start and we're going to cut and paste the information. So there's some questions here and I got to answer yes. Uh, now I need my virtual IP 1019210 we said. So there we're just making sure nothing is on there. It's going to come back and say that's good. Now what's our backup server? 101 9202 is the backup. So it's going to check that and now it's going to ask me for my password. And I got to log in twice. That's it. So uh, in 34 seconds, I've done my part uh, and the rest is up to the script. Well, what it's first got to do is uh, download uh, any updates that it, um, it needs and install a couple applications. I've got to do this on both PBXs. Uh, I had to log in twice because it was actually giving permissions from the first PBX over to the second. Once it has the permissions, the first PBX is actually going to control the second PBX. Um, so it all happens seamlessly from the per first PBX because we logged in twice, we gave it permissions. We'll let these uh, updates go through. Uh, this high availability does, uh, it will fail back and forth. Um, it actually does a sync of using LSYNC D, which you see installing right now. It actually syncs your directory uh, for your voicemails. So in the event of a failover, most all of your voicemails should be over unless you had one that happened just seconds before all of it would be over there. Um, now what I'm doing here is a, there's a backup of the primary PBX. I'm actually doing a complete backup effectively and it's uh, happening in the background here. It's doing the backup and then after it's done uh, it's going to uh, copy that over to the other PBX and then do a restore. Here we see it copying over to the backup computer and now it's doing the restore of all those files on the backup. So once that restore is done, you're going to see something interesting happen. If you keep watching, you see over here our PBX is rebooting and we say that in the script. Be patient. Uh, it's rebooting. Wait till it's back online. Let's see, it sees it's back online but still has some things to do. Now it's making sure it's running on both of these machines. Now it's going to do some testing. 
In the first one we see the first server is running, the backup server is not, and that's good. So now it's this first server is not running, the backup server is. So that's doing its test. Now it's going back to our primary, and it's complete. Three minutes and 38.8 .8 seconds later, uh, our server is up and running. Now let's see exactly what happened here. So if we go into uh, the first one, uh, go into reports and status, we see it. everything looks good, applications and extensions, we see our extensions here, Let's go into ex our second one, go into PBX status, oh, look, there it is, application, oh, extensions, it's not, what's wrong? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong, if you see it says here, asterisk is not running. We know asterisk isn't running on this one because when it is the backup, which 202 happens to be right now, uh, it doesn't want to run, uh, we don't want it to run asterisk. Uh, reason being is it would register to your SIP trunks and your SIP, uh, your calls might go to the backup PBX and we don't want that. Now let's go look over here at 210. Refresh that extent. Look at that. Two tens up. Um, and if we look in here, we see here's our status and here's our extensions. Wow, it's uh, all of our extensions are there under 210. Now let's do something here. Let's actually fail this over. We're going to do it uh, fail over by simply restarting my service. I use Keep Alive. So if we restart that, it says rest ooh, uh, service restart. Oh, I did that wrong. Ha, sorry. There you go. It's restarting the service. That's enough to trigger a failover. So if we come back over here to PBX1 and do a refresh, it says asterisk isn't running. But if we go under 2, our backup one, do a refresh, there's our extensions. Uh, it's, they're now on 202. The, and if we go over here to our failover, we'll refresh it. It's going to give us back the login screen because we're actually on a different PBX. We log in there. We can do application extensions, and there's our extensions. So it actually failed over uh, the way it was supposed to. Now uh, let's do one more thing. Let's fail back. So if we do this, we're going to take our same thing and we're going to pipe that to SSH to our other server. It'll restart that service and that's once again enough to bounce it. So if we come back over here, refresh this, here's our, we're back on the primary is there. Go to our secondary, refresh it. Asterisk isn't running, that's right. And here's our mirror server, and it's working. So right there you go. Uh, three minutes and 38 seconds instead of a five minute uh, high availability server. That's the info, and that's how it works. Uh, I hope you find this useful. Uh, I plan to do more tweaks as necessary. Uh, and um, this should give you the high availability option with uh, incredible PBX. Thanks for watching.